This is a walkthrough video of 8232 Cypress Lake Drive. We're in uh, just north of University and just east of Lockwood Ridge. It's a nice neighborhood. This house actually has great potential. The houses in here are all pretty well kept. This is a nice neighborhood. Uh, I think it's Country Oaks and um, uh, for the most part houses are there's a nice community pool right down the street in fact I think I can see it yeah it's right um, it's one block down there is a community pool which is nice so this house um, has some nice things like for instance look at this paver driveway this is really a nice paver driveway but then there's things that are not so nice like the holes in the roof right up there you see that hole yeah that's a problem so we definitely need a roof and a lot of work. But look at all these pavers. I just want to take you around this way first. Um, because look, we're on a little lake. A little water. But look at these pavers. They just This is a lot of nice pavers. Um, the AC looks like it's pretty good condition. Two ACs. You got a little split system here. And then uh, and that AC. You know, the, the exterior looks good at this house, I have to say. Um... Just walking over here to show you this little lake. I mean, it's not, I'm not gonna even call it a lake. We're gonna call it a pond, but that's pretty nice. Nice oak tree right there. Um, yeah, this roof, too bad it's so messed up. It's only messed up in a certain spot, but I suspect it's right where these two valleys meet. Um, looks like there was a door in the garage which was covered over, which is kinda odd. But, um, okay, let's go in the front show you uh, this imposing house is kind of you know a big house that's right next to this lot but you know it's a good thing and a bad thing you don't really see it from from here which is really the front of the house you know in the front of the house we're looking at the cul-de-sac we're looking at some nice trees that's a really nice tree too it's a real pretty oak tree Okay, so the pavers continue, and this is where we can see real problems in the roof. Okay, so you got some real problems in this area of the roof. The rest of the roof actually doesn't look that bad. I mean, those are architectural shingles. I can't, uh, you know why? I can see that this was roofed over, so there's two layers of roof. So they did a re-roof without, without uh, removing. And so you can see some problems that we have here. This is pretty serious stuff. Okay, so I walk in and I say, oh, nice diagonal tile. And then I say, ooh, somebody went, had some fun with a, with a hammer, a foot, some spray paint. Yeah, had fun with the fan. But fortunately, they didn't attack the countertops or the tiles, so that's good. Um, kitchen isn't bad. I mean, this would make a great rental. Clean this thing up, make it a rental would be fabulous. So here's the kitchen. You know, it's pretty open. I think I, if you could get rid of this wall altogether, but I don't know, maybe just keep that and have a bar area rather than just a pass through. Not crazy about this wallpaper, <laughs> like cray paper. But anyway, some of the leak has caused a problem there. Um, in here is a laundry room, a little more graffiti. Laundry room, with the wash sink kind of built in there. Cheesy how they did that, but that's okay. Some cabinetry separating and backing into this garage. The garage looks pretty good. Water heater looks 2017 now. No, it's been winterized 2017. It's pretty new though. AC, I'm gonna say good 10 years on that. Maybe some life left in it. Here's that side door. French doors that open up. That's really nice onto that patio. Okay, I'm gonna save that room for last because I'm not sure what I make of it. You see a skylight there has been tarped over. That's probably been the source of all the problems. This damn skylights always leak. Okay, so bedroom number one, which was used as an office, I can tell just because it has uh, these outlets all over the place. Access to the plumbing for the bathroom. Someone else kicked that. I like how they say that it's been winterized. Like, winterized. We're in Florida. What could you do to winterize? You mean summerized? Anyway, um, yeah, 
you know, this could be cleaned up, replace the vanity, get rid of that, put some cans in there. Nice little linen closet here. It's a fine little bathroom. Then this is another bedroom. Not sure, it's awfully small though. This, kind of weird how small this room is. I, I'm gonna say, you know, less that, it's only 11 by 11. So it's kind of small, smaller than that room. It does have a closet. And I'm looking for the master bedroom. I haven't seen it yet. Ah, here it is. So hold on, hold that thought. This must be the master. We have uh, kind of cathedral ceilings here. We had um, just a little nook there. Not a big room, but it's sufficient with a good size walk in closet with actually nice built in stuff. Actually, real nice built ins. That's nice. And then the master bath. The master bath has this cool glass block shower. Um, I ever tell you the time I tried to build one of these and I. I kind of messed it up and it got all wonky, but it was pretty fun and it ended up being a work of art. Um, you know, I keep the shower. That, that's pretty cool. I like the little window up there. This uh, nice flooring. I mean, the flooring is in really good condition and it extends all the way through. I'm not crazy about the step down here and then step back up here. However, it's okay. So now it takes us to this room. Look at all these lights. I would love to turn this thing on. It must be like, wah. I don't know what they were doing here. Those are grow lights or what? But um, you got another mini split system here. So there, there's another mini split here, which is nice. Um, so I guess this was a lanai or some sort, but look at all these glass doors. Do they actually open? Ugh. They look like they do, but they haven't in a while. Fiddle around with them, probably get them open. But these would all open up nicely, and um, you know, we're looking out on that lake. This could be a great little house. So it's three bedroom, two bath in this big room. Okay, so that's that one mini split, which is cooling this room. This has a central air duct there. So now I'm, there's a central air that runs through there. Um, central air up here. Where's that other mini split go? So this is all central air that goes, where's that mini split is for the garage. Oh, it is. So it's an air conditioned garage. That's nice, insulated garage door. Um, Panel, panel looks okay. Not much room in it, but um, no, this place has got potential. It's a roof. Depends what you want to do with it. You could almost keep that kitchen as a rental, but um, you know, those windows up there look okay. These wind, you know, hmm. So this is Cyprus, got some potential here. I'm Jules Roman, Yorkshire International, 941-366-0000. And as always, thanks for watching.